Hello dear students how are you I hope you all are healthy and safe at home We are back with another exciting video for you all So are you ready for it Dear students today I'm going to take up a chapter from your EVS book that is from the book of environmental studies The title of the book is Looking Around and the chapter we are going to take up today is Poonam's Day Out. Yes, what's the name? Poonam's Day Out. So let's begin with today's story. Ma, please let me go to school today. I have been at home for the past 2 days. I am getting bored, said Poonam. But you still have fever. Go outside and lie down on the cot, replied Ma. Poonam fell asleep on the cot. Suddenly, something fell on her face. Poonam woke up at once and touched her cheek. Oh no! Whose mischief is this? Is it the crows or the pigeons? It seems it is the crows. So dear students we learn that there's a girl called Poonam and she is having fever and she requests her mother to let her go to school but her mother tells her to go outside and take rest while she was resting something fell on her cheek let's see further now there's a picture given in the book can you see that and we can see many animals in this picture they are sitting on the tree right look at the image and tell me the names of the birds or the animals sitting on the tree yes can you look at the picture yes hurry up tell me name them okay let's try We can see a monkey, a pigeon, a squirrel, a miner, a sparrow, a butterfly, a parrot, and a crow. Yes, you can see them all. Can you see them? Very nice. Also, dear students. In the book the word animal has been used for all kinds of creatures. It can be used for an insect, for a bird, for a reptile and for a mammal as well. If we categorize animals, then among them we have lion elephant ox cow dog cat etc among the category of birds we have crows miners sparrows vultures eagle and many more now after the picture let's see what happens poonam looked up she saw many animals on the tree as we have seen and also we have named them all poonam picked up a leaf from the ground 
and wiped her cheek with it. But her cheek was still sticky. She thought, Let me go and wash my face in the nearby pond. Now, as Poonam has something sticky on her cheek, she runs to a nearby pond and tries to clean her face. Look at the picture of the pond and tell me which animals did Poonam see at the pond. Look at the picture and tell me. Try to name them. Very good. Try. Okay, let me help you out. We can see a buffalo, a frog, a goat, a swan and a tortoise. I hope you all can see them like me. Look at the picture carefully. Right. Now dear students, can you act like the animals seen in the pond? Try to enact like them. Try to imitate them. Which animal makes what kind of sound and movement? Try to make similar sounds. I know you are quite good at producing different sounds. Okay, we can see in the picture that a goat is eating grass, frog and buffalo are swimming and tortoise is crawling on the ground. Different animals move in different ways to go from one place to another. Some animals walk, some crawl, some fly and some swim. For this, some animals use their feet, some use their wings, some animals even take the help of their tail. You might have noticed various animals around you. Different animals live at different places. Some live on trees. Some live on land. Some are underground. Some fly in sky. And even some live in our houses. So, among all these animals, let's find out which of them can fly. Yes, you have to write down which of them can fly. Try, you have to write down which of them can crawl. Even some of them, them can walk, find out. Some can hop. Some have wings. Some have feet. And some have a tail. Let's discuss the one which can fly. They are Vulture Eagle Minor Parrot Animals which can crawl are Lizards We all have seen in our homes and we get scared as well because it crawls on the walls, right? Another one is tortoise and snake. It crawls very fast, right? 
The animals which can walk on their feet are lion, cheetah, buffalo, cat, dog, elephant and horse even many more. Now the animals which can hop are a squirrel. We all have seen squirrel hopping on the trees. Another is a mouse. Another is a chameleon. The one that changes its color. Now dear friends, let's move ahead. We will talk about another picture given in your book. Have a look at this picture. This picture has many animals like that of an elephant, a horse, a mouse, a lizard, a chameleon, a fish, a dog and a hen. I hope you all can see. Now color the animals that do not live in a house. Did you get? You have to color the animals that do not live in a house. Now let's try an other interesting activity. Here are some incomplete pictures of the animals. Complete them and write their names as well. It's quite interesting and we all can recognize these animals as well. Let's see. The first image is that of a yes, dog. Very good. The second one is that of a fish. And the last one, can you recognize? Tell me. Yes, it is of a honey bee. I hope you all will complete and write their names as well. Next. Now let's try this. The activity is Find my name in the crossword and put a circle around it. One example has been given. Or we can say, it is a riddle called, Who am I? I will be reading out few lines or I will give you a clue. You have to identify the animal. The first clue is, Banana is what I love eating. I spend my time jumping and leaping. Tell me, who is this? Yes, this is a monkey. Very good. Next, on the walls, webs I weave, where insects stick and cannot leave. Tell me, who is this? The one that makes or weaves a web? Yes. Find out, it's a spider. Very good. Next, I remain awake the whole night and go to sleep in broad daylight. Who is this? This is quite confusing. He remains awake whole night and go to sleep in broad daylight. This is an owl. Excellent. Next, croak, croak, croak is my sound. In water or on land, I am found. Yes, tell me, we all have seen this. We have also seen this in the image near the pond. Right. Who is this? This is a frog. Very good. Next, I appear after rainfall. 
have no feet so i crawl tell me this is the one that does not have feet but it crawl and it is a snail very good next slow and steady is my pace i always win when there's a race very interesting find out who is this the one who is slow but wins the race yes this is a tortoise good dear students the last riddle is based on a panch tantra story the story is about a hare and a tortoise so let me share this small story with you once there was a hare and a tortoise the hare was proud of his fast speed he asked the tortoise to have a race the tortoise was slow but he agreed the race started the hare ran very fast he was very much confident about his speed the tortoise was left behind the hare thought he should take some rest and he fell asleep he thought that he has already covered a large distance and tortoise is too slow so he took a short nap so he decided to take rest but the tortoise did not take any rest finally he reached the goal and won the race wow this is how tortoise despite being slow could win the race because he did not take any rest so from the story we learn that one can win any challenge with patience and hard work i hope you enjoyed the story now it's time to move ahead dear children take a look at the picture and try to find the difference between the thumb prints and the finger print impressions yes find out there are some imprints that are made with the help of thumb and some are made with the help of fingers let's first talk about the peacock given in the picture the feathers of the peacock have the impressions of fingerprints on it while the stomach of the peacock has the impression of thumbs the feathers and stomach of the peacock are colored in blue with blue color with the thumb imprints now let's see the given bird in the picture it's a parrot its stomach has the impression of thumb imprints whereas the beak and the feathers of the parrot have finger imprints on it the stomach and the feathers of the parrot have been filled with green color they have been colored green whereas the beak has been colored orange can you see now let's have a look at the butterfly given in the picture the feathers of the butterfly have the impressions of thumbs and the color is red can you see 
The next animal given in the picture is a horse. The stomach or the belly and the face of the horse has thumb imprints and they are in brown color. Another picture is that of a cute puppy. Can you see? Look at the picture. It has thumb imprints on its face and stomach. Whereas the ears and mouth have the fingerprints and they have been filled with black color. So dear students, in the same way, you can use ink or watercolors and make pictures of animals. You can make pictures using your thumbprint prints or fingerprints. You can make pictures of lion, cat, frog and many more animals. Color these pictures with your thumb and fingerprints. Decorate your school and house with these beautiful pictures. Now, let's have some more fun and play a game. It's quite interesting activity. Draw a picture of an animal that you have seen. Now, make groups of three children each. You can take help of your brothers and sisters at home. Each group will take a white paper. First, in each group, one child will draw the face and neck of an animal at the top of the paper and hide it by folding this part. Did you get? The first group has to draw, the first child has to draw the face and neck of an animal that he or she has seen. And it has, and that paper has to be kept with the child so that other person cannot see what you have drawn. Next, the second child will draw the body of another animal in the center of the paper and hide it by folding the paper. So, the second child will draw the body of another animal and he or she will also hide it by folding the paper. Next, the third child will draw the feet of yet another animal. Right, on the same paper another child will draw the feet. Now, unfold the paper and look at the picture. Does not it look a funny? Yes, it looks like a funny animal. You can try this activity with your brothers and sisters at home. It is quite a fun filled activity. I hope you will enjoy this. Now friends, imagine that you are sitting under a tree. Carefully look around and tell which animals you can see near the tree and where they are. Let's talk about the animals or the creatures on the branches. On the branches, we can see birds like Mayana and monkey sitting on the branch. On leaves, we can found earthworms. On trunk, we can see squirrel and sparrows. On the ground, we can see mouse and rabbit. Now, write the names of the animals 
in the increasing order of their size starting from smallest being the first so who will come first which is of the smallest size find out it's an yeah it's a earthworm then sparrow very good then comes the squirrel yes then a mouse then a miner then a rabbit and finally the monkey among them monkey is of the bigger size than all these animals and creatures next interesting activity is a jigsaw puzzle in a jigsaw puzzle a picture is cut in such a way that one has to really think hard to find the picture together in this we can make a picture of any animal any bird or any creature we can draw it on a cardboard or on a hard sheet and then we can divide this picture into various pieces in your book the picture of a peacock has been given and the picture has been divided into various pieces you too can draw a picture of any animal that you would like to draw or that you have seen draw this picture on a hard board or a cardboard or a thick sheet of paper and cut it into pieces then you can ask your friend brother or sister to put together all the pieces again to get the complete picture it is really interesting to do also it takes lot of efforts and one has to really think hard to fit the picture together i hope you all will enjoy this activity and you can test your brother and sister whether they are able to do this or not right it is quite interesting now let's move ahead after reading the story and the chapter it's time to answer few questions you have to choose your answers from the given four options so are we ready for it first question is what do we find on the trees options are a monkey and crow b hens and dogs c ducks and parrots d buffalo and goat find out tell me the correct answer and i know you all know this what do we find on the trees the answer is a monkey and crow next what do we find in a homes options are an owl and a snake b a squirrel and a butterfly c an eagle and a cow d mouse and cockroach find out we all know and we have seen them in a house what is the correct option it's d we can find mouse and cockroach easily in our homes next what did poonam see around the pond options are a a frog 
B. A tortoise C. A buffalo or D. All of the above Try to find out We have seen the picture Also we know what Poonam has seen Around the pond, in the pond, tell me What is the correct answer? It's D. All of the above Next Which of the following animal can fly? Options are A. Butterfly B. Cat C. Lizard or D. A fish Tell me, what is the correct option? Which of the following can fly? I know you all know the answer. Yes, it's option A. A butterfly Now let's move ahead. Say whether the given statement is correct or incorrect. The first statement is Birds can fly and walk as well. What do you say? Is it a correct or an incorrect statement? Tell me. Yes, it's a correct statement. Birds can fly and walk as well. It is correct. Next. A cockroach has feet but can even crawl. Yes, tell me whether it is right or wrong. Correct or incorrect? Tell me. A cockroach has feet but can even crawl. It is a correct statement. Very good. Next. A fish has feet and can swim as well. Come on, think about it. Fish has feet and can swim. Do you think it is right? It is correct or incorrect? Tell me. It is an incorrect statement. Fish does not have feet. We all know this. Next. Cows have tails and can walk with them. Tell me whether it is correct or incorrect. We all know that a cow has a tail. But do you think it walks with the help of tail? Tell me. It is an incorrect statement. Cow does not walk with its tail. It, it walks with its legs. Next. Dogs can walk, can run and can even fly. Tell me. Whether this is correct or incorrect? Find out. Dogs can walk, can run and even can fly. What do you think about it? It is an incorrect statement. Dogs cannot fly. So my dear students, I hope you all have enjoyed today's video. In today's video, we learned a lot about insects, birds and animals. We learned about various flying animals, crawling animals and animals that can walk. I hope you have enjoyed today's video and learned many things. So, on this promising note that we will meet again with another interesting video. Stay healthy, stay safe and enjoy learning. Thank you.